This is my shave review follow-up to the lather review of the Taylor of Old Bond Street Coconut Shaving Cream. So Taylor of Old Bond Street, they are out of London, England, and they've been around, it says here, since 1854, so it's like 160 years this year. And it's obviously something that's been around for a long time, obviously a lot of people like or wouldn't still be in production. So this comes in this little tub, it's got a screw top. It's a really thick-walled tub, it's, it's quite nice, it's kind of tan light tan, off-white color, screw top, it's a shave cream, so in here it's a very, see it's just a very pliable cream, I can just dig my finger right through it, it's very, very soft, it's kind of like a lotion or something like that. And this is a 5.3 ounce tub, and this retails for $14, $15, $16, something around that, and often plus shipping, I think on Amazon it's like $15.99 for one of these tubs. So this is hovering around $3 an ounce, which is on the higher end for more premium shave products. So the Taylor of Old Bond Street Shaving Cream was actually the first premium shaving product that I bought back in the day when I was still using cartridges. I got their sandalwood, which is incredible. It's the best sandalwood I've ever smelled very easily. It's just, it's incredible. And uh, it's a really good shaving cream. It's a huge step up. I was coming from like the the like Gillette gel stuff like that so this was like incredible it, it literally changed my world so I really like this stuff um, now I've found some other things that I like I think a little bit more but this is still holds a uh, holds a dear spot for me since it was the first one so anyway this is the uh, this could be the shave review of it oh I want to talk about ingredients so the ingredient list in here uh, water, stearic acid, myristic acid potassium hydroxide, coconut acid, glycerin, perfume. Then it gets into like a list of some pretty artificial things. Triethanolamine, sodium hydroxide, well that's fine, benzyl alcohol, methyl chloroisothiazolinone, methyl isothiazolinone, perfume, benzyl alcohol, coumarin. So, you know, I think that there's things out there with cleaner ingredient lists. Being a mass-produced product, I often find that these that are sold on a more national, international scale have um, some more uh, more preservatives and things like that and there's some more additives that I wouldn't necessarily want in a shaving cream. Nonetheless, this is their coconut. Sandalwood smells amazing. Their coconut one is really nice. It's kind of a sweeter coconut. It's I really love it a lot. It's really, really incredible. It, literally, you could eat this stuff. That's how good it smells. It's pretty amazing. I just got out of the shower, washed my face in the shower really well, which I always do. Uh, so my hair, facial hair is nice and hydrated. Soaking my brush here while I was in the shower. So my Badger and Blade Essential Boar Hair 22 millimeter knot. I'm gonna fill up my sink and get started. All right, so I'm just gonna take my brush, knock out the extra water. That's fine, and I'm gonna just dig my finger here into the tub and get. A little uh, dollop of it. I don't know how much. Not that much is fine. Uh, kind of depends. Some people say almond size. Some say that's way too much. Some say more. Whatever. It's just get enough on there so it works for you. I just kind of dig my finger in, and that seems to work well. So I just sorry I didn't show you that. I just put it right here in the center of the brush. So it's down in there. My facial hair. I'm gonna add in a little bit of water since I've been out of the shower for just a few minutes now. There. Nice and hydrated. I'm just going to go into a face lather. It's always weird getting these started when it's down in here, but if you just kind of keep going, eventually it'll loosen up. There we go. See that? It just transformed and now it's a nice. So the first thing I do when I'm lathering, I try to go over my entire face so it stays hydrated, all the facial hair, and then I'll go back and I really work it into the separate quadrants. Cool. Alright, so that's easy to lather. It's really easy. I spent a little extra time there on the first pass because it's a couple days of growth. It's like three or four days to getting it there in between all the hairs. You can see it's a really thick lather, really easy. It's not a problem. Creams, obviously there's no problem loading those. You just put in as much as you want. I think you can see how thick this is. This is a particularly thick cream for me. This is just, look at it all here. Just lay it on. It's good. Alright. I like that a lot. I like how uh, how easy it is to get to a nice lather. It's definitely very important to me. Shaving tape, my Merca 34C, with the fresh Persona blade. So 
It's doing a great job, really nice and slick. With a couple days of growth. Normally I shave one and a half every two days, so it's not too much growth. This is extra growth for me, so this extra, this is a really slick lather. So I like that, that extra bit of protection right here and just makes it slide through the hairs a lot easier. All right, nice job there. It's usually a tough area for me. Slid through that very easily. See how it goes on the other side. Plenty of lather left, it's not dissipating. Very key for me. I want to keep stretching my skin like you do with a straight razor, but shouldn't necessarily do that. All right, it was a really nice first pass. You can see I already took off most of my facial hair. I'm going to go back for a second pass, cross grain. So in between passes, I'll clean off my face to get off the extra hair that I cut that's just sitting on there. You'll see that there's like a little stubble that you've cut off that's still sitting on your face. I'm also rehydrating my face. Uh, what you want to do is put on more lather. Unless you're shaving with one of those with a finicky towel or soap, in which case you don't want to add more uh, water to your face because it could dissipate the lather anyway. And I'm also feeling around where I want to get better if I missed any spots. Pretty decent, usual areas to clean up here, here. Neck's really good. I'm just going to get it a little bit more. All right. Three lather. No problem there. Plenty of lather coming back. And you're not really re-lathering, you're just applying what's on the brush. And there's loads of lather here. That size doll up by really oversized. I could have gone a lot smaller. Alright, second pass, cross grain. Nice there. Mustache hair is really smooth. I don't get like right down here, right below my chin. Again, too sensitive. With any shaving cream, any shaving soap, any razor, anything. Nice and slick. Plenty of lather here left in these two bottom quadrants. Really good. Cruising around. Down here, no irritation. Happy with that. All right, third and final pass. I'm really close. This is a really slick uh, lather here. Just feeling what I have left on my face. I could go back over these areas. That's that wouldn't be a problem. I'm impressed with that. My neck always needs a little bit of cleaning up, but it's just not worth going back there with. I'm going to irritate it to some degree. Alright, so I do take out plenty of lather left here in the brush. I take it out with my left hand, apply it to my face. I'm also feeling around for the areas I want to clean up in. So this third pass is just a clean up pass. Mm, I do want to get here a little bit better. Just to be honest with you guys, I'm getting a little bit of a burning sensation from the shaving soap. I don't really know what that is. I don't get that with other soaps. It's, it's a little bit of a burn here. Hmm. Doesn't feel good, I know that. <laughs> really slick going back. Plenty of lather. This is really thick still. Look at that. Look at that. Really thick. Plenty to go back, really lots of slickness. This is a really nice shave. Alright, I'm gonna get cleaned up here for some final remarks. Excuse me, some final remarks. So that was a shave review of the Taylor Revolt Bond Street Coconut Shaving Cream. It was a really nice shave. Since it's a cream, it's really easy to load. You just grab some out, put it in your brush. Really easy to lather. There's absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Get a really nice dense lather really quickly. It was really slick. It was a nice close shave. I'm really happy with that. The scent, this coconut, is really, really nice. They also have the sandalwood, which is the best sandalwood I've ever um, smelled of any shaving product. Um, I know sandalwood's a popular scent out there. Um, 
think those are the only ones I have, yeah. I do like this. Um, since it is more mass produced, there are, the ingredient list isn't as clean. I'd like to see like, a little bit less preservatives, but when you're shipping internationally and this is going to sit around for months, maybe years before it's used, I understand the need for that. Um, had a little bit of burning at the end of the shave. I don't know if I've ever necessarily noted that before, but I don't know if I've ever been paying as close attention before, but it's a little bit of burning sensation, not a big deal. Um, here, post shave or lack thereof, I really don't feel any protection here if my skin feels really dry. Um, that is something that I have noted in the past when I've used this. Leaves skin just feeling quite raw and just in need of some sort of post shave immediately, some sort of post shave balm or cream. Um, yeah, it's pretty dry, but overall it was a really nice shave. I'm really happy with that. No problems in my sensitive areas, cruising right over those, and those are nice and close. This does retail for like it's almost three dollars an ounce or at or above depending on shipping charges everything like that and though I do like these shaving products I'm very happy with them uh, I just don't think that the price warrants necessarily the quality I think for price per ounce I think you can do a lot better out there with some other shaving products um, but I do like this it's good it'll give you a good shave I think it's better than some other mass produced ones out there um, definitely better than some other ones out there but I think if you're looking to ma maximize your money I'd spend it elsewhere if you check out some of my other excuse me if you check out some of my other shaving reviews or some other shaving products that I prefer over this but it's still a great experience great scent good shave can't really complain thanks for watching please let me know if you've had good experience with this bad experience if you have any tips for this um, anything like that and thanks for watching